Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, as you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, today we're going to be making a house for Daisy. You may also be wondering, Lulu, why are you in a Christmas winter wonderland right now? That is because I forgot until I got onto the game today. I've already previously made a home for Daisy in the game, which was her requested home, which was a Santa's workshop. So if you haven't seen that already and you'd like to see it, feel free to go watch that on the channel. I mean, you can see it right now, how it looks, but if you'd like to see the process of building it, it looks better inside, I think. Let me just show you for a second. <laughs> but yeah, here's the inside. It is super cute and super Christmassy, but today, oh my goodness, it's so detailed as well. I'm going to be so sad deleting this, but I mean, it is on the channel forever, so I can go back and watch it and you can see it right here, how pretty it is. As much as I love Christmas, I was looking through Animal Crossing photos from Animal Crossing Wild World and City Folk today and I saw a picture of Daisy's old house and I was just like, oh my goodness, why does she not have that house in this game? Because we have pretty much all the items. I kind of want to remake her house, inspired by her old house I mean. Not completely remake it, just inspired by it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Thank you so much for your help Lulu, I couldn't be happy with my vacation home and I couldn't have done it without you. I hope you accept this little token of my appreciation. Oh, she's giving me a present? I hope you can use a falling snow wall. Oh my goodness, thank you. She's so cute. So if we want to remake her house, we just have to ask her how's our home. And we can say, let's talk about moving. So I don't think it matters too much where we place her. I mean, the current place she was probably would have worked as well as it did previously. Um, because the exterior is not really what I'm going to be focusing on today. Obviously, I'm still going to decorate it and share that with you all. But today, I really want to focus on the interior of her home. I have so many clients on this lot, but I think it's such a beautiful lot. Maybe I'll just go with the lot she was on originally. Oh man, you can't get out of this menu if you've decided you've changed your mind. I had no idea that you're like stuck in this menu. That sucks. Wow, I've never wanted to do that before, so I didn't know that was a thing that happens. Maybe I'll just go for this plain lot then. Okay, here we are. It's a very plain basic lot, but like I said, we're focusing on the interior today. So on the outside today, I'm really thinking we just go with something basic. I don't really have much plans for what to do out here actually, but in case you didn't know, Daisy is actually one of my favourite villagers and I really miss having her in my town. I had her in my old towns when I was a kid. I did actually have her in my New Horizons town for a while too, but I had to get rid of her because she had the exact same dialogue as one of my other villagers. Melba and I had to choose between her and Melba and unfortunately I chose Melba and unfortunately for Daisy anyway. I do wish we had more slots, I think I'll always be wishing for more slots in Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, more villager slots I mean. I just love so many of the villagers, I don't know, I just like to have more of them, um, especially because there's so many of the same personality type that I really like but in New Horizons they kind of have like similar dialogue and stuff so you have to really pick and choose which ones you want otherwise they just talk to you the exact same way every single day and it can get really frustrating. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't get to have Daisy in my New Horizons town. Maybe if I ever make a second town, if I could somehow afford a second switch, I will have her in that town. She's just so soft and sweet and especially I just loved her in Animal Crossing Wild World and I loved her home, which is why we are recreating it today. So I'm kind of just going for like a white theme to match Daisy because she's very simple and white. I've always loved her design so much. I especially really miss the colours in the old games. I'm sure you guys have heard me say about this before, but in Animal Crossing Wild World and Animal Crossing New Leaf, the colours in the game were very pastel and muted, and some of the more vivid villages, you know, like Bob or Pietro. I mean, Pietro was always very, very colourful. Uh, even Isabel and the NPCs all had a much more pastel, I would say more aesthetic colour scheme. I always loved the pastel colours in Animal Crossing. And in this game, they really made the colours super vivid, which is definitely more some people's style. Personally, not my favourite, but you know, some people like it. But yeah, one thing that did change was Daisy looks a little bit different in her colour. It's basically the same, but a tiny bit different. She used to wear the kitty shirt, which is a series we don't have in the game anymore, which is another sad thing. We used to have this furniture series which is still kind of in the game. I can't even remember what it's called in this game. I think it's called like wooden block set in this game. Um, I'll have to find it and show you in a moment. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about anyway. Yeah, we used to have this really bright, colorful furniture set, the old games, and it has been brought over to this game, but um, it doesn't have all the same pieces and it looks slightly different. But anyways, there was a shirt that matched it and she used to wear that in the old games. So it was very colorful. She's currently 
wearing this little jumper, which I think I may have put her in. I don't think this is the jumper she wears in the game. No, it definitely isn't. What she comes in this game is another rainbow coloured top, I think. It's like a little jumper. It's like one of these, but it's like more knitted, which is actually super cute. It's actually a really, really cute jumper. Oh my goodness, how cute is she in that? <laughs> That's adorable. Ah, this one, the rainbow sweater, which kind of matches it and is super cute, but I do really miss that little kitty block shirt. I guess it's just the nostalgia. I think I'll leave the outside like this for now. We're going to come back and finish it off later, um, but I want to go inside and decorate the inside. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of all of this. Oh, this makes me so sad, but it has to be done, I suppose. I also feel like I wanted to have a vacation home that isn't just Christmas theme. As much as I love Christmas, I just find it a bit strange that she'd be doing Christmas all year round, you know? <laughs> and this was a very fun festive video to make, so if you're in a festive mood, feel free to go watch that video. Fun fact about me is I say I'm a fan of Christmas, but as I'm getting older, the more I've begun to dislike it. Because, okay, I sound like such an old grumpy lady but like once you get older it's just not as fun anymore so i don't have the money i don't have the money and my siblings keep popping out children and i can't afford to buy all these children presents every year i'm an auntie of like 10 kids it's crazy and i i can't i can't deal with it anymore so <laughs> but yeah just in case you didn't know i'll put a picture on the screen so this is what Daisy's home used to look like in Animal Crossing Wild World and Animal Crossing City Folk, it stayed very similar and I think it stayed similar in Animal Crossing New Leaf as well and then this is what it looks like in New Horizons now it's not bad but it's not really Daisy? I mean, it's cute. It's like they looked at Daisy and went, oh, cute white dog with kind of blue ears. Um, let's make a house white and blue and cute. My problem with it is that it's just like the basic kind villager house. Like they all kind of have the same furniture, the same kind of decoration, and it's just not very unique. It's cute. I will say that it's cute and it's one of New Horizons better villager home decorations, but it's not the Daisy I know. So just in case you couldn't tell by the picture, Daisy's old house was like a library museum type thing. And I really like this. Like this is perfect. This is literally the wallpaper. I mean, it's slightly lighter in the old games. Like I said, everything in the older games was more pastel. This will work, I think. Maybe not all the walls because we're going to need to see out of the windows. Um, so we need like a lighter color wall, at least on the walls that have windows. So maybe it can just be one wall with the books on. Like I said, we're not going to be replicating it exactly because obviously it would look a bit bland. We're going to be inspired from it. I've always wanted Daisy to have the same house. I just loved this house when I was a kid. I loved going to visit her and seeing like her cute little telescope. I don't think we're going to be including the moon because the moon item is just absolutely ginormous. <laughs> I don't know if we can fit a moon in here, but one of the things I really liked about her old house was the cream sofa or the bright white sofa. So I definitely want to include that. That's an item I must include. I know there's a white swatch of this sofa here and uh, yeah, the red sofa. This one I think has a white swatch. Yeah, it does. Okay, so these are the two we're choosing between. Um, obviously the white sofa she had in the old games isn't in this game, so we can't use the exact one. Though it was one of the cutest sofas in the old Animal Crossing games. I remember it used to make a really cute like plush sound when you'd sit on it. And um, yeah, I miss that sofa. Um, I really like this one, but I think it is more like leathery. If you take a look at the texture, it looks bit like a leather sofa, although to be honest it looks exactly like my sofa I have in my house, my Ikea sofa, um, which is crazy, I just realised that. It's like the exact same. Yeah, I think I might go for this one. Another item she had was the grandfather clock. I'm not sure I've unlocked the grandfather clock so I don't think we can include that, but we'll have to include a clock somehow. I definitely want to include a clock. And of course, I really want to include the telescope. Um, and I love the whole fossil theme she has going on. So. I'm thinking we can maybe include fossils if there's any cute ones. Um, obviously, I don't want a whole house to be dinosaurs like in some of the games. I do like that she's into dinosaurs though. I think that's really cute. In my head, I kind of think maybe she's like a... Oh, here it is. Oh, look, she loves it. <laughs> that makes me so happy. In my head, I do kind of think maybe she's like a, a teacher or like she's she's studying. She's got that like study core aesthetic. She loves learning. He's He's gay but he he has a special connection to classical music. There's many things that are interesting about him. I really want to make this house super cozy as well. Oh, maybe a fireplace would be good. So, like, the main thing I want to do with this is I want it to be browns, like dark browns. Like her 
original home but I really want these pops of like bright white in here which I think will be super cute um, and just match her very well I think. Just look how cute she is. <laughs> She just has the sweetest little face. Um, I definitely do miss the more creamy colour she was in other games. She's a bit more like yellow and the blue in her ears is like so blue now. It never used to be like that. I was always really obsessed with the villagers that had like rainbow clothes on or anything to do with rainbow when I was a kid. Because if you didn't know I'm autistic and I go through phases of having like obsessions with things. And one of my longest obsessions that I completely forgot about until a couple months ago was rainbows. Like I was so into rainbows. It was insane. Um, and anything with rainbow on, I was just like, this is the best thing in my entire life. I don't know what little me would have done with Pietro, if Pietro had been put in Animal Crossing Wild World or City Folk. I think I would have exploded, because that sheep is very rainbow. <laughs> what else we can include? Um, obviously you guys know I like to include places for her to eat and sleep and everything. We do have this, which does suit her house. And it is just like the classic bed in old games, but it's really big. And I do want to make this like a small house. So maybe we should go with a smaller bed. Maybe this one? It does look exactly like the classic bed, but it's just smaller. So it fits better. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this for now. Another item that she has is... I think it's like the exotic end screen. Is it called an end screen? I have no idea what it's called in this game. Or if I even have it. But she has one of those things that, you know, you stand behind to get changed. But you never see those nowadays. At least for me, I never see them. I used to see them a lot more back in the early 2000s. A lot of people would have... Oh, here they are. Yeah, screens, dividers. <gasps> the Imperial Partition. So it is in this game. Do they have it in brown? Yes. Okay, so we have the exact thing she has here as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cute. And let's see, do we have any cute, like, fossils? We could maybe include bugs as well, though. I do like to think she just like studies fossils because I do remember in Animal Crossing Wild World, my daisy. Um, if you didn't know in Animal Crossing Wild World, they do actually have hobbies and like things they do and it's just random. But my daisy just so happened to be her hobby was fossils and I just loved it because it matched her house so well. So yeah, that's also something I missed from the old games. Oh, we do have some fun fossils. I don't really want to put a skull. I don't want anything like huge like this because it will take up her entire house. I know I put this somewhere around my um, town, so maybe something like this could work. Though it does look kind of strange, doesn't it? Um, oh, we could put the actual fossil. <laughs> That's a cute idea. What else? Now, I don't want to make this too museum-y. Obviously, I do actually want to make a house full of blathers at some point. So we'll definitely do that one more museum-y. But for now, oh, this might be good. Oh my goodness, it goes on top of the fireplace as well. That is so perfect. I'm thinking we like move the sofas over here, although won't that take up most of the room? We may have to move the fireplace over to this side of the room just so we have a bit more space. Okay, this is kind of cute. Oh, and one thing that I also miss is the flooring she had. So she had this wooden flooring and this big red rug. It was kind of like this. This one is so like, it's so vivid. I really wanted that like dark musty musty red so maybe one of these other rugs and mm, that one doesn't work it's too bright oh we could use one of these i suppose elegant rug and this does have blue we could always change the red rug to a different color this one's almost perfect i'm not sure about the red though for now i think i'll just put this rug and then we'll see what happens while we decorate another thing i wanted to have is a desk because like I said, I really imagine her to be this sort of like, um, even like a student. I feel like she's like a university student um, or a teacher or university student learning to become a teacher or work in a museum. I don't know. Let me know what vibes you get from Daisy. But I definitely get the idea that she likes to study. And look at her little sleepy eyes. I just feel like I can see her sitting at a desk and sleepy while she's reading her books. So I want to give her a nice pretty desk. Oh, this one. I remember when I first got this desk. She loves it. <laughs> I got a lot of comments from people saying, where did you get that desk? I remember one of you guys visited my town back in the day and you saw this desk in my character's house and you're like, where did you get that? And I just randomly got it in a balloon one day. So lucky, I know. It's like so perfect, so fancy. Maybe she got it as like a hand-me-down from her grandma or something. And obviously she's going to need a chair as well. I'm thinking like an elegant chair because I really love that chair. Maybe this one. Because it's so pretty. But obviously I want to make it kind of white to match that is super gorgeous and i'm not sure whether we should go with like a computer or books i think books because that's kind of like the vibe of this house we're definitely gonna need like a lamp or something like that 
we might not have space for a kitchen today. I'm sure she gets food elsewhere, you know? <laughs> I'll try to put a food item in the house at least. Because I feel like that makes it look more lived in. If you can't fit a kitchen, at least try to put like a food item. Like, I don't know, like a cup of tea or some pancakes or something. That's my advice anyway. So, the lamp. Oh, we could have like a lamp like this, like a study lamp. Although to be honest, it may just be the autism, but I find that light to be really bright and hurts my head, so maybe not. Oh, I do like this record player. Maybe that's something we could include. Hey, so I don't know what happened, but while I was building this, at this point in the video, suddenly I just felt like I didn't want to speak anymore. Have any of you ever had that? Like sometimes you just be speaking, you're having a good time, and then all of a sudden your brain's like, I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but my social battery literally just went to zero all of a sudden. And you may be thinking, this isn't social, you're just sat talking to yourself. Sometimes I just get really tired of hearing my own voice. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna honour what my brain is telling me today, which is that I should shut up and just build the house. So, that's what I did. So now you're watching the speed build of me building this. So, for a while I was debating through a few different wallpaper options. As much as I really liked the cottagey, it's like a creamy brick wall with wood panels. I think it suits the bookshelf wallpaper so much and also the furniture and everything. But I was starting to get the vibe in the house that it was getting a bit too similar to a grandma vibe. And I didn't want people to visit Daisy and feel like she's a grandma because I personally just don't see her as an elderly character. Um, I do have an elderly character in my Animal Crossing New Horizons town which is Barbara which I'm sure you all know about by now but I had Barbara in my childhood town as well and I've always viewed her as like a grandma type character so I decorated her house more grandma vibes so if you'd like to see a grandma house feel free to watch that video. I realised that Daisy's house was getting to be a bit too much like Barbara's house so I decided to start putting some items in and changing some things up to make it look a lot more younger. I wanted this to feel like a younger woman's house but with like vintage furniture items which is actually a lot more common nowadays. I personally love vintage furniture items so much but yeah so I decided to change the wallpaper to be a brighter colour. There was a couple of options I went through but in the end I went for this really cute white wallpaper with the hearts on because I feel like this just made the home feel so much more cutesy and young and bright as well. So I also started to add in some more furniture so I put in this little stool. It's a box shaped seat. I think it looks a lot like a stool that would be used to reach the top of the bookshelf. So I thought this would be perfect to put by the sofa like a multiple use item. She could use it to reach the books and also as a table for her coffee and things like that when she sat on the sofa. You may have also noticed as well I went away from using two sofas because as much as it was really cute, like I said previously, I think, while I was building, um, I really wanted this to stay as a small home. And having two sofas really boxed the house in took up a lot of space, so I decided to just go with one sofa in the end. Another thing that I wanted to do to make the home feel more like a young woman lives here rather than an elderly woman was to add fairy lights because if you're anything like me, you're in your mid-twenties or younger, you probably like fairy lights. So, <laughs> like how many people on Instagram do you see that have these really gorgeous fairy lights on their bookshelves? I see it all the time and I know Daisy would be doing exactly that, decorating her shelves themed after her favourite book series and stuff like that. So I decided to give her some white fairy lights. And then I was just looking through food items that would match the room that I thought she'd like, cups of coffee. Um, I do always debate using this cup and saucer from The Roost, which I think is a gorgeous item. The one thing that bothers me about it is it doesn't have a drink inside. It looks like an empty cup of coffee, which can be useful if you're building a coffee shop, I suppose, but I wish there was a version of it that actually had coffee in. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but yeah. If I could add anything, it would be customization of that coffee cup so that it has coffee in. I just find that so strange that it doesn't have anything inside. But yeah, I cycled through a couple of items. As you guys know, I said previously, I think to make a home feel homier, you need at least one food item or a cup of coffee or something like that. So I decided to add the tea mug. Um, it looks like hot chocolate or tea inside, so I really like this one. I love the steam coming off of it, and I love that it's just plain white. I think it looks really aesthetic and pretty, so I decided to include that by the sofa. And then I also decided to include one of my favourite food items, which is the cupcakes, specifically these brown ones with the white icing on top. I just think they look so delicious. They perfectly match this house, so 
I decided to include them and they look so pretty in the middle of this big table in the middle. I thought it made the space feel a lot more useful, cosy. Um, I can imagine her inviting friends over and they're all sitting around the little round coffee table and eating cupcakes and reading. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It puts a nice little focal point into the room other than the fireplace and also it's really easy for her to root around which again I was trying to make this home like it could be her actual home in the game. That's why I like to build these small homes because I want to give you guys inspiration for if you want to redecorate your villagers homes and also for myself if I ever want to get Daisy in my town I will definitely redecorate her house like this. I just really really love redecorating the villagers homes. I think it's so much fun and I am so glad Nintendo gave us the option to do that. I mean before that you guys know I made a whole video complaining about the villager homes. I don't know if Nintendo saw that but I was so happy when they gave us the option to redecorate them. I just think being able to redecorate your villagers homes is something that I think could have even been included in the first Animal Crossing game because one of the main gameplay aspects of Animal Crossing has always been decorating and collecting furniture and especially your relationships you build with your villagers and I think being able to actually redecorate their home in your town slash island is something that I'm surprised actually took Nintendo so long to add this to the game but I think it's so wonderful. I love redecorating villager homes and I think it's perfect as well because I think I've said this before but just because I have a certain idea of a villager like for me I see Daisy as this type of character. That doesn't mean everyone does and so being able to redecorate it yourself means if you don't like this style for Daisy you can keep the original house she had in New Horizons if you prefer that or you could redecorate it based on that theme if you want or you could decide that Daisy is actually a wizard and build her a wizard's tower house. I don't know, anything you can think of. You can decide Daisy is secretly a cat in a dog costume and you can give her a cat themed house. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I mean with anything you can think of. You can do it yourself and make it feel more like your own island and your own town and your own villages. And I just love it. I love being able to personalize our villages and make them houses that fit the personalities we think they have. So I like that a lot. Another thing I wanted to add to the house was a teddy bear. I was looking for the baby bear for so long, I could not find it. Eventually I did find it though, so don't worry. <laughs> and I wanted to just add in some little items like paintings, little broom, because I love seeing the kind villagers outside their house just like uh, cleaning up the pathway. I think it's so cute and my kind villagers do it all the time. So I always like to give them a little cleaning item. I wanted to put in a Cosmo wreath because it looks like daisies to me. Yeah, I really wanted to keep in that like study museum type vibe without filling the place with fossils. And I realised while I was editing this video, when I was looking up pictures of Daisy's house from previous games, I came across her house from the first ever Animal Crossing game and it's literally just a room with a huge dinosaur fossil taking up the entire room. Um, I just love that her theme has always been fossils, until New Horizons anyway. I'd really like to know where that idea came from. Uh, I think it's so cute though. Eventually I switched out the rug to this brighter colour one, which you'll see more later because um, I'll do a tour of the house. But I also switched up some of the paintings. I really wanted to put in this KK lullaby picture because she's in this album cover. I just think it's so cute. It brought in this really nice turquoisey colour into the room. So then I started changing things up to try fit in more of this blue turquoise colour. I did this by adding another painting with the colour in. There's a globe with the blue colour in. I think I eventually got rid of the globe and put some flowers instead. And I also put a map on the wall. Now another thing, this is another item I wish we had more customization of because in Animal Crossing New Leaf in previous games we could have this map and we could customize it to be like an ancient map so it's like brown and like looks like a fantasy world map. You know when you open a new fantasy book and there's a big map in the beginning or if you play Skyrim like the Skyrim map, it looked like a map that would be in Skyrim or in a fantasy book. I think we need that ancient map back. I'm so confused why we don't have it in this game. We only have a blue like modern map that you can put on the wall. I do miss that item a lot. There's a lot of little things like that where we have the item in this game but it's just not quite right or doesn't have the same customization options so New Horizons does tend to leave me always wanting just a tiny bit more but yeah I decided to include the map anyway because like I said I want to keep in this vibe that she's very smart she likes to study things um I think I've decided that she works in a museum now whether she's like an apprentice or studying um or she actually just works there I'm not too sure but that's what I've decided is that she works in a museum. Maybe Blathers is her teacher? I don't know, I think that's a really cute idea. I'm doing that thing again where I just make up stories <laughs> for my villagers. She's gay, she has a special connection to classical music, there's lots of things that are interesting about her. But anyways, I decided to include this one lamp which I love and I have it in my own house in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's like the classic lamp you see in libraries. I 
pretty sure if you go to like the big libraries in cities, they always have this lamp on the tables, but it's in green. I didn't want to go with the green because it was too dark for the room. I went with white instead. Like I said, I really wanted those little pops of cream and white in the room. And yeah, I changed up the rug to match this like new turquoisey yellow and green colour in here. I do miss the red rug that she had in old games. I think maybe in the future I would change this up to have a red rug and more of a red theme inside, but I do like this new colour scheme. And what I liked most about it was that it brings in the new Daisy kind of style from New Horizons. So in New Horizons she has this like really bright white and blue house. And I feel like this rug just makes it feel a bit more like that, but also like her old house. At this point I was just filling the place up with plants, making it feel more cosy and happy. And um, one of my favourite things I included was just a little daisy next to her bed. I had to include it just for her. I know they're not actually daisies in the game, but it does just look like a daisy, so I had to include it. I decided to put Van Gogh's sunflowers in here because I was just studying Van Gogh a month or so ago for my uni assignment and um, I just really enjoyed reading about sunflowers because I have studied Van Gogh previously in high school slash secondary school and I really didn't learn that much but this time when I was studying it for uni I learned that he used to paint the sunflowers for his friends as gifts and I thought that was so cute so I thought Daisy's my friend I'm gonna give her a sunflower painting but yeah then I went outside and started working more on the exterior I was actually so surprised at this house because I didn't think I would care about the exterior. I was worried that I wouldn't even know what to do in the exterior. So you guys saw at the beginning how I was just chatting away, just placing down general foliage and stuff, just a bunch of trees and flowers, just making it look like a natural space. I like to do this as like a starting point so it doesn't just look like an empty blank space. Doing this does really make me wish we had the option to decorate like this on our islands because I've been struggling decorating on my own island recently and if I could just look from up ahead, place the trees where I want them, I don't know. I just think it'd be so much easier because I struggle so much. It takes me so long. I'm like, oh, maybe a tree this size would look good here. And then it grow for three days. I come back. Oh, I accidentally grew too big than what I wanted. Oh my goodness, I have to start again. Plant a new tree. And then it gets to the size I wanted in the first place. Actually, it doesn't even look good. So I need to do something else in this area. Oh my goodness, it takes so long. Something that literally takes me like two seconds in Happy Home Paradise will take me like a month. <laughs> in my regular island and it drives me insane. I know that would kind of take away a piece of like Animal Crossing where you're meant to take your time with it, but in this sense, when you're decorating your island, it's so frustrating to have to take your time because it's just, it's not enjoyable. Like I want to decorate a really cozy space so I can take my time playing through the actual gameplay that I enjoy, which is like talking to my villagers, playing through the special events, going to the coffee shop, fishing, catching bugs, collecting fossils, collecting furniture. I love all of that stuff. I just don't like that when I'm decorating my island, I'm stressed. I feel like if they added this option to the game where you can decorate like this, when you literally just pick up trees, drag them where you want, oh my goodness, it would be so much easier. And I would probably have an island that I'm actually happy with for once. Nintendo, if you're listening, please consider adding that. That people would absolutely love it. Maybe make it so it's like a Nook Points reward or when you've paid off your mortgage or something like that. I think it would be super, super cool for you actually had to work for it and take your time to get to this point to still have that option available in the game I would love it anyway so as you can see outside I was just doing a basic decoration which in my mind is just a table and chairs which I put everywhere on my island which I noticed literally yesterday I was playing Animal Crossing and decorating and I was like literally everywhere you go on my island there's trees some flowers a table and chairs like every single one of my decorations is just a table and chairs with like food on top or books on top i realize it's the most basic thing in the world but what else do you put outside i literally couldn't figure it out i have like a flower shop benches i'm like what else is there what else is actually put outside just table and chairs right i mean picnic blankets i've done that as well but i literally just put a table and chairs everywhere and um, I need to sort that out. I need to put something different. If you guys have any ideas of things I can place that aren't a table and chairs, please let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to do that. I put this lovely log table with mushroom stalls, a little red book, and I really love the colour combination of this table and chairs with the like reds of the pile of books, uh, the tea set, the little red part on the book that's open, and the really lovely Paradise Turning plant pot. It has this really nice reddish brown plant pot colour that I really like, and it just reminds me of Daisy's jumper. I decided to put little pops of red around um, like the apple tree, I put a little blanket under the table as well, and then I decided to go against the regular paths in the game. I usually do this because I change up my path codes quite a lot, and I don't like coming back to the build and seeing the pathway is different. That bothers me, but I've been using the 
this one grouse pathway for a long time now and it's one of my favourites, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it so I decided to use that in this build, I thought it would make it look a lot more natural as well and this is another thing I wish we could just do in this sort of building mode on our actual islands, placing pathways at least, I feel it should be so much easier, why do I have to place them one by one? I don't know, it takes so long. When you're building in Happy End Paradise, it's so much easier, so I really enjoy building in Happy End Paradise. I think it's so much fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun building this, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build it. I think it's just a really simple and cute design. Sorry that I'm building another house for Daisy. I know in my previous videos, I say to you guys, let me know any villagers you want me to build a house for, and I've just ended up building two houses for the same villager. I know. <laughs> Need to sort that out but yeah i have been really enjoying this and this is a really fun video for me to make i want to do more animal crossing builds this year because they're just simple fun cute videos i like building and it's just nice to have more animal crossing content on the channel because i definitely didn't post much animal crossing last year i wish i posted more but i genuinely just didn't really know what to do in the game and i was really burnt out last year and i was just going through a bunch of stuff mentally but i'm doing okay now um i'm doing much better and actually i got some animal crossing amiibo cards for Christmas which I was so excited about. I got Dr. Shrunk which I'm so excited about because that means I can invite him to my coffee shop in the game. Oh my goodness I haven't seen him in so long so that would be so nice and I really want to get the amiibo cards for like the characters that aren't in Animal Crossing New Horizons so that I can see them again like Gracie and Dr. Shrunk and Rossetti and I really want Brewsters as well because I really want to build Brewster a house in Happy Home Paradise so yeah I'm currently starting to collect Animal Crossing amiibo cards again so that's been quite fun uh, but yeah as you can see in the building I put another telescope outside a cute little tiny library and then I was just changing the time of day I wasn't sure whether to go with sunset or early in the morning but I've I chose early in the morning. I didn't want rain or anything in this build. And I need to remember to start collecting bugs because I unlocked the feature to put like butterflies and everything, but you have to actually catch the bugs to release them here beforehand and I always forget to do that. Yes, I need to do that in the future. Catch some bugs so I can put them in the build. Yeah, then I was just placing these little mum cushions about because I think they're so cute. They're like big flowers or big cauliflowers. I don't know. They're just so cute. I love to place them everywhere. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the speed build. So I'll let you go back to past me who will give you a proper tour and talk you through everything. So I hope you're having a lovely day and thank you for listening to me ramble. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, so here we are in the finished exterior. I actually love this so much more than I thought I would. Like I said before, I really wasn't going to be focusing on the exterior of Daisy's house too much, but I actually really, really love this. I would love to have this as the outside of my own house, so this may have inspired me a little bit, but I love how natural this all is, so I'll give you a little tour. So over here to the left side, we just have a little tea set, a little plant that she's growing, and obviously lots of books. I really tried to make this colour scheme fit in with Daisy's colour scheme, so I gave her this really light wood table with some white mushrooms, with some white mushroom chairs and some mum cushions, daisies and white pumpkins around. This is to really bring in that like really bright cream white colour that I really wanted to focus on in contrast with the browns which fit in really well with the plant pot and the books and everything. And I also used the red and green mum tea set because it reminds me of her clothes that she wears in the game and obviously the kitty shirt she used to wear in the old games as well. So I feel like this just looks like Daisy's garden. I could just see her having this like, I just feel like I wouldn't change anything about this, it just looks exactly like her garden. To the entrance over here, we have the little tiny library. I feel like this is something she'd definitely have outside of her house to recommend people books. Um, she does love to read, which is like the entire theme of this house after all. And I think she'd just love it. Um, I also think it looks so beautiful, like imagine walking up to her house, it looks so welcoming and calming and cozy I think. So obviously on the front door I put Cosmos or Daisies. I feel like they look just like Daisies so I use Cosmos a lot here. I gave her a little mushroom to brighten up the place and I also gave her another telescope she can use outside. So over on this right side um, you have the telescope she can use and also I gave her a little blue bike over here which I just feel like she would have a little bike that she'd go out on and I don't know, I did originally place it in red but I thought the blue kind of suited her as well. I like to have, bring in a bit of the red and the blue. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this exterior. Um, I'm just gonna take a photo. I also made it very early in the morning. So we have this beautiful morning light coming in and I'm just so happy with this. I didn't really think I would care that much about the exterior but I think it looks so cute. And obviously I'll show you the inside now as well. 
my goodness, it's so cozy in here. So, like I said before, I really wanted this interior to feel like the old Animal Crossing games. I wanted it to be very simple and tidy. I feel like Daisy would be a very tidy person except her bookshelf. I feel like her bookshelf would just be manic, like a ton of old books scrambled together, but everything else in her home would be very tidy. I feel like she bought these chocolate muffins uh, or made them herself for you guys to have together when she come to visit. I decided to include this KK Lullaby poster because it actually has Daisy in the picture. It also has Gabby, which is another one of these under villagers I really love as well as a tiny baby KK which I think is just the funniest and cutest thing in the world so I had to include this and then I really want to incorporate more of this color of the poster which is this like turquoise minty sort of color I suppose but you can also see in this picture that Daisy's fur kind of looks a bit more creamy and yellow than it does in New Horizons right so I also want to include this more yellow cup so then I thought about including Van Gogh's sunflowers I recently was studying Van Gogh yeah I wanted to include that because it really brings in the yellow in the KK Lullaby poster. It also has greens and these really nice bright creamy white colour of the frame as well which ties in with the cream and the bright white slash cream and brown colour scheme I wanted to go for in this house. We have the iconic library wall dead centre in the house because I wanted this to be the focal point. You come in and you're like wow this girl likes to read because I feel like that was the entire theme of this. I wanted to include the exotic screen um, or what's it called in this game? Imperial something I'm not too sure but I wanted to include that because she did have that in the old games and I thought it fit in well like it would cover up uh, maybe a broken bookshelf or something like that. I also really want to include this stool as a coffee table because I feel like she would use this to climb up to the higher shelves so I thought that was pretty useful. When I was building the house I started to notice that it became a bit to grandma -y. as much as I love that vibe for her and I do feel like she got a lot of this furniture from older relatives, maybe a grandma. I wanted to make it seem like Daisy's more young, like I said, I don't think Daisy's an old lady in my head, I feel like she studies a lot or is a teacher, like a young teacher, she's definitely not old. So to make the house seem a bit more younger, I updated the wallpaper to this like cute heart print on. This uh, map as well brings in those yellow greens that I wanted to bring in and the blue as well and I gave her a bright white chair which I felt made the place feel a bit more young as well the teddy bear, I just thought it suit Daisy, like it, it's so cute <laughs> I just think she'd like it I gave her a little broom as well, like I said I feel like she's very organised and tidy and I do like to see the villagers out and about you know when they like use the broom to clean the pavement outside the house, I think that's like the cutest thing they do in New Horizons, so I wanted to include these because I love seeing her do that um, of course I had to include a Cosmo wreath on the wall because like I said, I see the Cosmos like daisies and her name is Daisy. So we had to include lots of flowers. This welcome sign perfectly ties in like the colours I wanted to go with. It's got the dark brown welcome writing and then it has like the creamy white wood colour with a flower as well. And of course I just had to put in a basic Cosmo because it looks like a little Daisy. I wanted to include daisies obviously. I feel like at first when I was trying to have a red rug things weren't really coming together so I eventually went with this yellowy rug which is a little bit of a change, but I like the colours in it. It's got this like yellow, lilac and green colour scheme. It's just cosy and lovely and bright. I feel like it suits Daisy very well. I also gave her a record player and some flowers and I found out that these little plants on the wall fit in perfectly. So yeah, this is the finished house. I wanted to design it so it could actually be usable if you have her on your island. You can definitely use this as inspiration for her home if you want to redecorate it. If you do decide to use this as inspiration, please do let me know or tag me in any photos. I really tried to keep this small and simple. She can easily route around this home, she's not going to get stuck. She can walk around easily, she can sit and use all of the items in the home. Yeah, I made the music quite peaceful. Like I said, I tried to keep it young and cute, but also with this like really lovely vintage furniture and just cozy vibe. I just can imagine her studying fossils here and just having the best time. Obviously I had to include a fossil as well and her classic telescope. So why don't we see what Daisy thinks of it? Oh, oh how lovely. lovely, thank you so much. So originally this home's theme was Santa's favourite house. Are you sure you want to use the same name? Um, I'll pick a new name. <laughs> this time we're calling it Daisy Study Nook. I love it, Hello. Okay, let's have a tour.
there's a specific villager you'd like to see me create a home for next, please do just recommend them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Hope you're having a lovely day today. Before I go, I would just like to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, you're the sweetest angels. If you guys didn't know, if you join my Patreon, you can get early access to my videos, as well as a special role on Discord, lots of other rewards, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. This is my first Animal Crossing video I filmed this year, so I hope you're having a great 2024 so far. Let me know what you thought of this build, let me know how you're doing, what you've been up to. Hope you're having a lovely day. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing, because it really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all in my next next video. Bye! <laughs>